about, right? I'll give you a worldly example that happened here in Minnesota, right? Do y'all remember probably about a year and a half ago, the so-called, the sheriff of Hennepin County was drinking too much. He went to a function, drunk too much, right. got into, he was driving all the way from the west side of the state back here, got into an accident, rolled his car over, right? Got out, said all kinds of lies, but yet this is supposed to be the sheriff of Hennepin County. But he had too much wine. He was he was no different than a, a, a brother out on the street having too much wine, getting drunk, right. driving, crashing the car, rolling it over, right? Verse 19, it maketh the mind of the king and of the fatherless child to be all one. Uh -huh. Of the bonding, of the bondman and of the bargain. Freeman. Of the freeman. Uh -huh. Of the poor man and of the rich. So it all turns you into one, whether you're, whether you're bond or whether you're free, whether you're rich or whether you're poor. If you have too much wine, it's going to suck the life out of you. You, you got no more um, integrity to yourself. Right? Read on. It turned also every thought into jollity and mirth. So it turns every thought in, into jollity or mirth, right? right Meaning up. you're going to be laughing at every everything that's said. <laughs> and that's something not even funny. All right? What else is going to do? Read on. So that a man remember neither sorrow nor death. That's why we that's why we turn to the wine as a community that we don't remember our sorrow that we don't remember our debt right what is our sorrow that we're oppressed as a people that's why people turn to wine to do what escape right that's what we hear I just wanted to escape my situation for a Three. couple hours Bring it up. just wanted to have a little fun and what happens they go off and they have too much wine they have too much to drink right read on and it make it every heart rich so that a man remember neither king nor governor it, it makes you to speak all things by talents. So it, it makes you not remember who you are. It makes you not remember who you're around, right? It don't matter if you're around the, the king, the governor, right? You don't give a, you don't give a damn at that point. You're, that wine is now talking. It's that liquid courage that you got in you. Now you're ready to spew off anything that comes to your mind. Right. Read on. Verse 22. And when they are in their cups, when they are in their cups, meaning when they've had too much, read. They forget their love both to friends and brethren. So they forget the love that they have to friends and brothers. And then what happens? Do that sober. And it so that's why, you know, we tell you, you must stay sober, but you can drink. Don't get drunk. Because once you have too much, you forget your friends and your, your neighbors, right? You begin to murder your brothers and your sisters out here on the streets. Because why? Oh, they stepped on my shoe. Oh, they looked at me wrong, right? And that's a problem within our community because why? We're trying to escape from all the, the, the oppression that's occurring to us, right? As a people, we may not see it uh, right away, but we are oppressed as a people. This is the reason why we come out here. This is the reason why we come to teach the Bible to our brothers and our sisters in North Minneapolis, Brooklyn Park, St. Paul, South Minneapolis. That's why we come out to our people. That's We're right. not going to um, uh, Woodbury. We're not going to Edina. Right. All right. We're coming to our people that's to teach right. them the Bible, what God says. Right. Because we see that's a problem in the community and we are looking to stand up for righteousness within the community. Right. And a little drone outswore 
and a little after draw out swords. But when they are from the wine, they raven, they remember not what they have done. And when they come off that, that drunkenness, when they began to sober up, they say, what did I just do? I just did what? Work it up. No, no, Work. not me. This is the problem. This is the problem. So we're not to, to go off and drink wine in excess. Strong drink in excess, right? Give me Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. Verse 11, I think. Verse 11. So that's what we're teaching our people. We're teaching them that we got to come off the drugs. Come off the excess wine. Come off the excess tequila. The excess bourbon. The excess uh, Hennessy. Hennessy, vodka. All these things. Come back to God's laws. Read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink. So it says, woe unto them. Destruction unto those that come out, come out early in the morning and follow strong drink. Meaning, first thing you do, you got to pour you a cup. It says, death and destruction unto our people who do that. Why? Read on. That continue unto night, until wine inflame them. Unto the wine then inflames them. Meaning they can't, they can't control it no more. They can't control it no more. So we got to come back to understanding what the Bible says. All right? Read on. Verse 12. And the hump and the vial, the tabric and the pipe and wine are in their feces. But they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his hand. So when we in that, that cup, when we've had too much, we don't consider God's laws anymore. It's whatever. We're doing whatever we want. Right? We got to understand that God's laws reign true in our life from sun up to sundown. All right? We got to apply God's laws. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 